In this tutorial we are going to make a very simple island and add some trees to it. We'll talk a little bit about prefabs. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new project and we're going to call it um, make an island. You can call it island run, island game, whatever you want. Right here you will see what uh, where your where your game is going to get stored. This is where I like to keep my games, but if you're not in a location you want, you can press these and go to a different place. We are going to be making a 3D game. We're going to use asset packages, but we're not going to bring them in here. I'll show you another way. And then you just click on Create Project. And then once your game loads, you are in a new game. And we, you can see here we've got the title of the project but we're just going to go ahead and save this first scene. So we're going to say save scene and we're going to call it island and it's saved in assets. We'll click save and now we can see we have this scene in our project panel. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import the assets. So you go to assets and import package and the package that we are going to import is environment. So you just click on environment. And now this takes a little bit of time just to first let you choose your preferences. And you'll see that you get absolutely everything um, in the package, the environments package. So you can deselect things, but often um, features of the package are dependent on each other. So sometimes it's better to just import everything. And you click import. And then it takes a little bit of time to do the importing, so we'll just wait. And once your assets are imported, you'll see you've got this editor box and the standard assets box. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to make the land for our island. So we're going to go up to Game Object, 3D Object, Plane. And we'll just add a simple plane. Over here in the inspector panel, you can see the scale. And if we make it an X of 50 and a Z of 50, it's a nice big plane. And the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to change the color of the plane because it doesn't really look like land. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a material. So in the project panel, you can go create material and straight away you're in a box to name it and so we can call it ground because that's what we're making and there's our ground material and over here we're in the inspector for that material we can click on this white box here and then we can choose our color and I'm going to try to get it to some kind of a sandish color okay so that'll work for me so I'm going to let go of that and so now if we click on our plane over here in the hierarchy panel um, we can click on ground and drag it to add it. And now we've got this nice yellow land. Okay, so once you've got your ground colored, the next thing is to start adding, um, we're going to put trees into our island. So if you go into standard assets and environment, you can see speed tree. And under speed tree, you can see palm. And right at the top of palm, you can see this palm desktop. And that one we can click and drag into our project. And then you can see there's that beautiful Palm Desktop. Now, you can see over here that Palm Desktop is in our hierarchy because it's in our project. Um, but what we want to do is we actually want to make a prefab out of this, which means that we can make multiple copies of the same tree. And so if we close these up and we make ourselves a new folder called Prefabs, we can uh, click on this Palm Desktop. Actually, let's just rename it first to Palm Prefab. And then we can just click on this, grab it, drag, drop it into our Prefabs folder. And now you can see there it is. Now, the nice thing about using Prefabs is that you can change the, the qualities of the Prefab um, such as by adding gravity, taking away gravity, and it'll change every copy of the prefab that you have in your scene. So if we just add ourselves a bunch of palm trees, a bunch of palm trees, there we go. Okay, 
And so there we go. You can just put them around. You can use as much as, of the space as you want. Um, and then you can see over here that you have a little bit of a mess with all these palm trees sitting here. So if you select nothing and go create, create empty, and click on it once slowly and then say uh, palms, you can then click and drag all your palms into the same folder. So shift click works here and just drop them into that palms folder. And that just tidies up your hierarchy view. So now um, now that we've got a bunch of palms in there, maybe we want to add some conifers as well, even though they don't usually live together. Um, so we can go back into the standard assets, this time go to conifer, choose the conifer desktop, and drop a few of these in as well. Uh, so here's the conifer, we'll rename it conifer prefab. And then we will drag it over to our prefab folder, prefabs, and now we've got the conifer prefab in here. So now we can drag as many copies of the conifer prefab as we want into our scene. And then now we've got such a beautiful scene with conifer, huge conifers and tiny palms. And um, we can clean this up, so deselect everything, create empty. Call it, click on it twice slowly, conifers, conifers, and then we can drag the conifers into this folder. We're still tidy. And that is how you add prefabs and make a simple item.